In the early 1990s, public policy isolated and abandoned public housing residents in projects when they were at their most vulnerable. That policy also squandered millions of precious taxpayer dollars and perpetuated the problem of concentrated poverty. The public housing system really had become a warehouse system in terms of all poor families, uh, families with uh, social problems, economic problems, all of that, and the environment itself was hopeless. AHA senior communities were also not functioning. A dozen new seniors-only communities offer amenities that traditional senior high-rises never could, including a movie theater and a well-equipped exercise room. Residents also enjoy the peace of mind of knowing they have access to a range of on-site assisted living services, from nursing care to health and wellness programs. We have a poets club, a dance class, arts and crafts, nourishment, also a flower club. Most of these households are single person's households. Um, you're finding that people are now engaging with other people and that that engagement uh, brings greater sense of satisfaction and that greater sense of satisfaction leads to extended life. Each community is planned and is deconcentrating poverty. We've all been provided uh, unlimited human potential and a certain amount of gifts and one thing we are not allowed to do is squander those gifts. In 2004, AHA imposed a work requirement, and now 74 percent of families are compliant. AHA directs participants to other service providers to help make that happen. When they come in and they visit with us, they are motivated to want to go back to work. We have customer service programs for them, and once they realize that someone does care and someone would like to see them go to work, then we will help them. Anyone is capable of making a breakthrough, becoming completely self-reliant. Makeda Johnson took advantage of the opportunity. I had to take ownership and responsibility for where I was. Johnson went back to school at Mercer University and earned a degree in organizational development. She was able to move out of public housing and purchase her own home. She also chairs a local neighborhood planning unit. In terms of the critics and naysayers, uh, all I would say is look at the outcomes, look at the results that have been accomplished, and um, then we can talk further. Today, more than ever, AHA, in partnership with its private sector developers, is creating healthy, thriving communities that any of us or our loved ones would be happy to come home to.